Humans rarely encounter frilled sharks, which prefer to remain in the ocean's depths up to 5,000 feet 1,500 meters below the surface giant spider crab. Atlantic wolfish pair, fangtooth fish, six gill shark, giant tube worms, vampire squid, Pacific viper fish. Marine biology is the scientific study of marine life, organisms in the sea. Given that in biology many phyla, families and genera have some species that live in the sea and others that live on land. Marine biology classifies species based on the environment rather than on taxonomy, marine mammals. Whales, dolphins, porpoises, walruses, manatees, dugongs, seals, and sea otters are all mammals that live in the ocean. Some, like seals and sea otters, can also live on land, but they spend most of their time underwater. Other kinds of animals and fish that live in the sea are the walrus, starfish, eel, crabs, jellyfish, and fresh and saltwater fish. But this is just a small list compared to the many different kinds of fish that inhabit the marine biome. The lungs of mammals would not work very well for a fish because one breath underwater would fill them with fluid and make them useless. Nonetheless, fish need oxygen to breathe too. In order to remove oxygen from the water, they rely on special organs called gills. Gills are feathery organs full of blood vessels. Marine life is concerned with the plants, animals and other organisms that live in the ocean. Given that in biology many phyla, families and genera have some species that live in the sea and others that live on land. Marine biology classifies species based on the environment rather than on taxonomy. The largest animal ever, the blue whale. The blue whale, Balanoptera musculus, is a marine mammal belonging to the suborder of baleen whales. At 30 meters, 98 feet, in length and 180 metric tons, 200 short tons, or more in weight. It is the largest known animal to have ever existed. Scientists estimate that 150 to 200 species of plant, insect, bird and mammal become extinct every 24 hours. This is nearly 1,000 times the natural or background rate and, say many biologists, is greater than anything the world has experienced since the vanishing of the dinosaurs nearly 65 meters years ago. Between 700,000 and 1 million species live in the world's oceans, according to a thorough new analysis which also estimated that between one-third and two-thirds of those species have yet to be named and described. Some animals, like fish, crabs and lobsters, can breathe underwater. Other animals, like whales, seals, sea otters, and turtles, live all a part of their lives in the water, but can't breathe underwater. 100,000 marine creatures a year die from plastic entanglement and these are the ones found. Approximately 1 million seabirds also die from plastic. A plastic bag can kill numerous animals because they take so long to disintegrate. Climate change is caused by a number of things. The effect that climate has on extinction is very big. The biodiverse Earth can't keep up with the rapid changes in temperature and climate. The species are not used to severe weather conditions and long seasons or a changing chemical makeup of their surroundings. There are five major causes of extinction, habitat loss, an introduced species, pollution, population growth, and overconsumption. In the most severe mass extinctions it may take 15 to 30 million years. The worst event, the Permian-Triassic extinction, devastated life on Earth, killing over 90% of species. The Cretaceous Paleogene KPG, extinction event, also known as the Cretaceous Tertiary KT, extinction, was a sudden mass extinction of some three quarters of the plant and animal species on Earth. Approximately 66 million years ago, crocodiles are similar to alligators and caimans, for their common biology and differences between them, see Crocodilia. 
Crocodilians are more closely related to birds and dinosaurs than to most animals classified as reptiles, the three families being included in the group Archosauria, other than birds, however. There is no scientific evidence that any dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurus, Velociraptor, Apatosaurus, Stegosaurus, or Triceratops, are still alive. These, and all other non-avian dinosaurs became extinct at least 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period.